Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today is the 23rd April 2021. Uh, my name is Professor Hussain Bashkolachi and uh, I will again discuss with you the COVID pandemic situation in Pakistan and the latest uh, new trends and new variants and new guidelines from the government of uh, Pakistan. This is uh, good news that uh, yesterday we received uh, uh, NOC or a letter of uh, opening uh, COVID vaccination center with the cooperation of the government of Sindh and the health department Hyderabad, particularly DHO office Hyderabad. Uh, so uh, within two days, I hope the center will be functional. And we have just received the letter from the NCOC through the government of Sindh. So we thank to the government of Sindh and the NCOC that is a university has been approved as a COVID vaccination center. This will be on the welfare hospital side and it will be completely free. The space and the, the trained staff all will be provided by the Isra Welfare Hospital to the Vice Chancellor Professor Nazir Ashraf Lagari and uh, the team which includes MS Mr. Qadir Bhush Padwani, uh, Dr. Nasrin Mehman, myself Professor Hussain Bashkurachi, Professor Abdul Sattar Mehman, Professor Shafi Mehman Jatui and Professor Asif Barney along with the Registrar team Mr. Abdul Qadir Mehman and uh, the focal person, uh, Mr. Murad Mehman. So this team has been in the forefront since the last year when pandemic started uh, in late December and early January. Uh, so today I will show you this graph. Uh, that graph shows that the cases of Sindh and Punjab are almost becoming equal, though these cases in Sindh were almost one leg more than the Punjab in last few months. But now the Punjab has uh, uh, risen in the cases and so is the death rate and other difficulties uh, of the hospital. So we need to flatten the curve or reduce the burden in the Punjab and the same is true for Sindh because cases are increasing. You can see that the daily cases in Sindh uh, out of 5,000 uh, daily cases, uh, Sindh has uh, about uh, uh, 700 cases. So it means that one fifth of the cases is in the Sindh the number is increasing. And you can see this graph that Punjab, Sindh are on the top and followed by the KPK and then the Balochistan and also the number of cases in Islamabad are also uh, very high. The total active cases in Pakistan are uh, about 83,000 uh, cases. Uh, this is uh, a very alarming number. Uh, if I see the figures quoted uh, in the newspaper down on the 22nd April, you can see that the same figure which I have quoted, uh, the source is 5,499 cases and we had 148 or 148 cases. Uh, which uh, lost their lives or could not survive and 83,162 active cases are in different uh, hospitals, uh, isolation centers, so home quarantine. Uh, another news which I am showing you which shows the federal minister uh, uh, press conference or a statement uh, uh, that major cities may be closed if COVID situation is worsening, minister fears situation gets out of control. Uh, 500,000 vaccine doses arrive, 1.5 million expected soon. Over 5,000 new patients surface and 148 die in a single day. 
positivity rate crosses 11%, which was in Sindh particularly, it was less than 2, and in Pakistan it was 3, 2 uh, in the previous few months, but now it has jumped from 8% to 11% and in certain cities. So the minister says that uh, uh, major cities may be closed if COVID situation is worsening. So these are the few things which uh, Pakistan uh, and the newspapers from Pakistan are publishing regularly. Uh, and you can see that uh, the Iranian and Pakistani foreign ministers, they have at social distance. Uh, as well as uh, they are wearing masks. So we should follow the SOPs and uh, 50 and a whole years vaccination registration should be done on the 1166, once again 1166, uh, send your uh, uh, CNCI number. Uh, the Another important uh, development is that the uh, NCOC has uh, opened the registration of the frontline health workers and there is a pro pharma uh, which may be filled as per the instructions of the NIMS National Information Management System. Uh, so the doctors can send their PMDC number, nursing can see the Pakistan Council number and other regulatory bodies. Uh, if these are not available, then they can send the uh, appointment order photocopy on that website and their registration will continue or open till the 30th. I have a request to the ISRA University, uh, particularly the frontline health workers, MOs, WMOs, uh, house officers, doctors, registrar, professors who could not get the vaccine and registration they should apply on the 1166 or on the given website of the government of Pakistan that is NCOC and NIMS and they can also get the help of information from the information and research desk as well as our COVID-19 vaccination center for filling the form or registration help with these words, I think I thank, thank once again to the Vice Chancellor for his uh, outstanding support along with the Registrar Office, MS Office and uh, soon the COVID Vaccination Center will start in the welfare wing of ISRA University. That service will be open for the public and it will be free of cost. Thank you very much.